Coleman medal at age 23. You've got the footy world at your feet. And when the Blues start the rumble, the whole footy world sits up and takes notice, and that has been the case this year, and the big guy has joined us in the chair. Harry Mackay, welcome, H. Thanks, guys. Thanks, boys, for having me. Good to see you. We were hoping that would have been on the back of a big uh, performance, but you couldn't quite get it done yesterday. Yeah, as I said before, it would have been nice coming off a win, but, um, yeah, obviously they were, they were pretty good, Brisbane, and, um, yeah, obviously a disappointing result, but, um, yeah, we'll learn a lot from it, and... Hopefully bounce back this week against your mob, guys. Yes, that is true. We'll talk about that in a moment. It's a huge game Saturday night. Coleman medal last year is a fantastic performance, but I reckon you will have enjoyed this year a hell of a lot more from a team perspective. And as I said, Melbourne, the whole town's different when the Carlton are flying. You've now got yourself into a little tricky situation. Yeah, absolutely. To start off with, for sure, um, this year's been um, very enjoyable and um, different place. Although we did a lot of the last couple of years right, I think this year it's just started to click and... Um, yeah, some key changes and some key personnel has been really refreshing and um, really nice. But, yeah, the last few weeks it's been challenging and um, after a pretty solid, you know, first 16, 18 rounds, um, yeah, it's been a little bit disappointing that we haven't been able to play our best football, but also um, we're still in a really good position and really exciting position where um, two big games at the MCG to finish the year and chance to do something we haven't been able to do in 10 or so years. So um, everyone, although a little bit of disappointment over the last couple of weeks, um, yeah, it's shifted over the last 24 hours to pretty positive and exciting. So Is that the messaging now internally yep. that we're at this point and we've still got our own destiny in our own hands? So that, that's as much as you can ask for? Is that what Vossi is saying to the boys? Yeah, absolutely. So even post-game um, yesterday afternoon, there was obviously a little bit of um, initial disappointment and frustration and touched on a few things that didn't go right. But um, before we walked out the door, it was what an amazing opportunity we've got. As I said, um, two big games to finish. Um, in a position we haven't been in in years and, um, you know, nine months ago um, this is what we wanted and what we wanted to build towards. So um, as much as it wasn't our day, the last two weeks haven't been great. It's still a really awesome position and an exciting position to be in. And granted, you've had injuries. I think you've had injuries most of the year, but you've been cruel in the midfield the last few weeks. What's the biggest area you could pinpoint going in the last fortnight of the season where Carlton can improve to get them into September? Yeah, I can probably two things, Brownie. So, um, our contest has probably been a little bit off and um, last week against Adelaide we were beaten up which we don't want to happen ever again and something we've been really strong on all year um, and then so yeah our contest and ability to get the ball forward and then probably our ball movement as well obviously as a, as a key forward and you boys would know um, you're at mercy to what happens above the ground a little bit so I think we get a bit more dare and a bit more um, yeah, movement with our ball and give us forwards a bit of a chance, um, I think will really help. And yeah, a bit more, a bit of a licence, a bit more freedom to um, have a go at the game. You've got a wingman this year. It must be nice when, you know, when you're not necessarily feeling it to know that you've got someone there that, that can sort of step in and fill the breach. Or, or are you the sort of guy that when you're up and about, it's almost like, come on, Char Charlie, just, <laughs> oh, just like I'd tell Brownie to move down the couch. <laughs> yeah. Just tell him, no tell him to get out of the way at times. I think we always both think we're always hot. So Charlie thinks he's on, I think I'm on. So um, it can be challenging. But no, it's been fantastic with Charlie. Um, I think I said a few weeks ago, it's awesome to have him playing footy again and healthy. But then... Um, to do what he's been able to do this year has been pretty phenomenal. Um, coming back at, off two years, not playing at all, and then um, yeah, to re have the return that he has has been fantastic. And yeah, as a forward line, it's been great to have someone else to um, really work with strongly and um, another, I guess, dominant forward that um, demands respect from another um, key position defender. So it's been fantastic. I've loved my time with Charlie and um, hopefully we can finish off with you strong. Who teaches you guys in internally? So who, who's, the, who's the, the coach that works with you and Charlie specifically on your, on your forward craft? Yeah, so we've got Ash Hansen um, this year, so across from the Bulldogs. Um, obviously, he had a pretty solid career himself. Just ask him, he'd, uh, he'd tell you. <laughs> but um, no, he's a modest man, Ash, he, he wouldn't tell you. Um, so he's been fantastic um, over the last 12 months. Um, yeah, really strong with his detail and um, I guess as you guys know, it's a pretty crafty position, the key forward. So, um, yeah, just building in little things week to week that we can work on and both Charlie and I and a few of the other guys, we're really young still in our, in our careers and um, as a key position player, that craft takes years and years to build, as you know. So, um, Ash has been great. Well, when I was down at training a couple of weeks ago watching, you had him for about an hour after training. He <laughs> wanted to get in and eat the hot lunch and you had him for another hour doing goal kicking. I know. I think I said when I did my knee and had a few weeks off, um, Ash was home before three. He was loving it. He was the happiest man at the club because <laughs> he didn't have to hang back and kick goals. But, um, no, all the coaches are very good like that. They're always there to do whatever you want. 
Uh, Vossi's influence on the group. What has he brought? And like a game last week against Adelaide where you're disappointing around the contest, does he still sort of fire up as I used to see back in the day when he was skipper? Yeah, he can still go, Brownie. Um, yeah. Definitely. He's still... Um, yeah, he can still be uh, pretty <laughs> pretty solid at the boys and direct. But um, I've been I've been very impressed with, um, with Vossi and yeah, his ability to. Oh, he's very calculated and calm, but um, very strong with his messaging when he needs to be. And um, yeah, I think his ability to create an environment where um, everyone can be at their best and um, has been fantastic this year. And yeah, I can't really speak highly enough of him to be honest. Tell tell us about life as a modern day footy player. Um, yeah, we we hear a lot of. The, the pressures, you know, the, the mental pressure that comes with players, the the uh, intrusion into your life from the social media, all those you know, aspects which we never really, or these boys probably did towards the latter part of their career. But it, is it is it everything that you hope for? Is it your dream life? Are there aspects of it that you find a little bit uh, taxing? Yeah, that's a good question, guys. Um, I think it definitely has its challenges, and I think um, it's probably not unless you're in the game where you you know some of those challenges. I think to the average punter, it's dream job, making lots of money, playing in front of big crowds, which is which is all true. But um, there's definitely some other pressures and challenges that come along, as you said, social media and um, everyone having an opinion. And um, we can so definitely- you buy into that? Are you a social media consumer? Like, are you, would you be finish last night Flight home. Are you aware of what you know the feedback and analysis from the punter? Um, specifically after uh, yesterday and the last couple of weeks, no. Like I think you're smart enough to know that, and especially a big club like Carlton. Mm. Um, sometimes it can be detrimental to be on social media after a bad loss or a, a game where you didn't perform like you wanted to. Um, that doesn't mean after a good game, guys, you're yeah. looking through the comments looking for a pump up. But yeah, um, yeah I think um, we're pretty smart in, um, in terms of knowing, you know, obviously it always gets back to you and you can, you can see the comments, but um, being good at kind of focusing on your circle and the guys you actually care about for the feedback and then the rest is kind of just white noise. So You, you mentioned Carl and the big club. I mean, you only read the paper when you play well. We all know that, we mm. all know that so correct. Correct. Uh, so, so big big footy club, have you noticed a difference? Like a lot of powerful, influential supporters of the football club. Have you noticed a difference this year that, you know, you go to a club function or something like that, that, you know, there's a, there's a little bit more love for the players, a little bit more opportunity, a little bit more, hey, mentorship come with me I'll, I'll help your life after footy is 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 that sort of stuff happening more now that you guys are, are up and about again as a footy club um to be fair i reckon carlton fans have always been very good um yeah ever since i've started um i didn't to be honest growing up um i was an Essendon fan so carlton i didn't take too much notice of but um once i got drafted i, I didn't actually realize how big of a club it was and Literally every second person you bumped into was a Carlton fan and um, always willing to help you out and, and everything. But I always say, I think it's great for footy that Carlton's back playing some good football and um, yeah, very passionate supporters, Rue. And um, when you bump into them, they're always very good with their time and they're always uh, willing to help you. So um, yeah, I can actually speak really highly of them. I heard a couple of Carlton fans today on radio talking about if Carlton don't make the finals, is it a, have you had a successful year? What would your answer to that be? Um, short answer, yes, because I think I judge success in terms of our environment that we've created. So um, the last couple of years, um, we've probably struggled in that space in terms of culture, environment, um, building a really solid game plan. So whatever happens for the rest of the year, I guess that's outcome based. But um, for me as a player that's been there seven, eight years, um, this 12 months has been a success and whether that comes to finals or whatever it is, um, I think we've taken a really big step into the right direction and um, yeah, Vossi talked the other day, hopefully it's a, it's a long book and this is just chapter one. Um, we want to finish off the chapter really well but um, it's definitely still a success I reckon. Who, yeah. who drives it? So who drives that, that push towards the next Carlton Premiership? We know Pat, Paddy Cripps is the captain. Yeah. So are you, are you the type of player that's really vocal and assertive with the group. Are, are you one of the drivers or, or who are the drivers? Yes, I think um, a few of the, the, I guess, the key leaders of the club, um, the official leadership being Weeders, uh, Walsh and Cripper. And then I think um, guys like myself, Charlie, um, even Nick Newman, um, Sadi, some of those guys that have played a lot of footy. Um, so I think talked about the change off field with Vossi and um, 
CEO president um, changing, but I think having a core group of leaders and senior players taking the club where you want to go is really important. And as you boys would know, culture start like you can you can talk about culture from a coaching point of view, but unless the key players kind of drive it, um, yeah, it doesn't work. So um, yeah, I feel like a lot of those guys have had really strong years from a leadership point of view and I'm um, really confident and um, excited about bringing um, yeah, success going forward. Uh, what's your opinion on the Patrick Cripps incident? Last mm. question, mate. <laughs> Didn't think you were going to ask that one, Brandy. I was <laughs> hoping to get away with that. Um, yeah, I think, obviously, initially I saw it was, it was a couple of weeks, which is, um, yeah, disappointing. But, um, yeah, I think sometimes at footy, you have just good footy contests. And my initial... Um, kind of thoughts. I was in the forward line um, hoping the ball would come down a bit more but I was thinking um, <laughs> that was just a good footy hit and um, obviously you never want to see um, someone get injured like that and hope um, hope he's okay but uh, yeah my initial thought was it's just a good footy hit and um, both players had ice of the ball and Cripper I just ran through him so that was my initial beautiful answer mate um, stop right there you've yeah. <laughs> ticked the box that will be you can use him in the tribunal you haven't got yeah, any right. trouble hey before we let you go when are you playing on your brother I mean it's the match up that the whole footy world's waiting for I know. If you get, you've been gobbling off at each other it's been magnificent <laughs> when are you going to take him down I don't even know if it'll happen now guys I've oh, I was same thinking person guys that's the, well <laughs> Until it's proven wrong, I've given up on that. I, I just laugh now, Brownie. But um, yeah, maybe next year. But I'm not going to hold my breath either because he might go forward. He he's might not, he's not a great forward, Rue. I, I, I don't know if you watched, but yeah, <laughs> didn't get near it. Anyway. Hey, mate, we love uh, we love watching you. We love what you're doing, and um, it's big on Saturday night. MCG. This is why you do play footy against um, the reigning premier. Probably seventy thousand people with finals on the line. So good luck with all that. Thanks, boys. Thanks for having me. Looking forward to it. Great right to on. have you in Harry Mackay. Um, a break.